we're given vector a and b and asked to find the dot product of vector a and b. To find the dot product of two vectors, we find the sum of the products of the corresponding components. And the value of the dot product does give us information about the angle theta between the two vectors, which we'll discuss more about after our first example. So to find vector a dotted with vector b, let's write vector a in component form. So we'd have an x component of negative three, a y component of positive five. We're dotting this with vector b in component form, which would be four comma negative two. So the dot product will be equal to negative three times positive four plus five times negative two. So again, that would be negative three times positive four plus five times negative two, which is equal to negative twelve plus negative ten, which is equal to negative twenty-two. So notice in this case, our dot product is equal to negative twenty-two. So depending on whether the dot product is positive, negative, or zero, it does give us information about the angle theta between the two vectors. When the dot product is equal to zero, the two vectors are orthogonal or perpendicular, and theta is equal to pi over two radians. If the dot product is positive or greater than zero, then theta is less than pi over two radians. And if the dot product is less than zero, which is our case, meaning the dot product is negative, then the angle theta would be greater than pi over two radians. So if we graph these two vectors, the angle between the two vectors should be greater than pi over two radians. And let's verify that. So vector A is graphed here in blue, and vector B is graphed here in red. The angle theta between the two vectors would be this angle here, and notice how this angle is greater than pi over two radians. We have an obtuse angle between vector A and vector B. Let's take a look at a second example. Same question, just different vectors. So we have vector a component form, which would be one comma negative six, dotted with vector b in component form, which would be three comma negative two. So the dot product would be equal to one times three plus negative six times negative two. So again, one times three plus negative six times negative two, which would be three, should be plus twelve, which is equal to positive fifteen. So because the dot product in this case is positive, the angle theta between these two vectors is less than pi over two radians. And again, let's go ahead and verify that. Vector A is graphed in blue, and vector B is graphed in red. The angle theta between these two vectors is this angle here, and notice how this angle is less than pi over two radians. Here we have an acute angle between vector A and vector B. Let's take a look at one more example. We have vector A with an x component of two and a y component of negative four, dotted with vector B, which has an x component of negative four and a y component of negative two. So the dot product will be equal to two times negative four plus negative four times negative two. So again, we have two times negative four plus negative four times negative two, which is equal to negative eight. Here we have plus eight. So here we have a dot product which is equal to zero, and therefore the two vectors are orthogonal or perpendicular and theta is equal to pi over two radians. So looking at the graph of the two vectors, notice we have vector A in blue, vector B in red, and the angle theta between the two vectors, in this case, is a right angle, verifying that these two vectors are orthogonal or perpendicular. I hope you found these examples helpful.